Hello everyone, it is Friday morning and it's good to be with you at the end of the uh, week, uh, work week anyway, and I hope everyone is doing well. Uh, hey, I want to remind you that tomorrow night you want to set your clocks back and uh, get an extra hour of sleep uh, and ready for the Lord's Day, right? And so just, just to remind you about that also, this coming uh, Sunday morning, uh, Brother uh, Matthew Barnes, uh, our missionary to the State House, he'll be with us uh, in the morning service. So uh, looking forward to that. Amen. Well, we are in uh, Romans chapter 8 in our devotion, and we, as I refer to it, uh, the us uh, uh, factor uh, this week in our devotions. And so let's look at another us, okay? The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 35, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, our distress, our persecution, our famine, our nakedness, our peril, our sword? And of course, the response is not a thing, not a thing. You, you, you didn't get the word us there, didn't you? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? I tell you, what a wonderful truth to know, and that is this. There isn't anything that will separate you from God's love. Do you know that? Not a thing. No matter what you go through, no matter how hard it is, no matter how difficult it may be, no matter what you do, God loves you. And there isn't anything that shall separate you from, from that love. Isn't it good to know that? You know, in all the world that we live in, the people and, and the, the, the circumstances that we face, there is always one that will love you and that does love you, and that is the Lord. And so uh, I, I want to encourage you today. Know this, that you are loved. Know this, that God loves you. Oh, by the way, notice if you would in verse 37, nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. You see, God does love you. And because of that, I tell you, there's not anything that you and I uh, will face that by the help of God, by the help of the Lord Jesus Christ, he is our strength that we cannot overcome it. And I, and I want to encourage you, let the love of God permeate your life. Let it encourage you. And march on in the name of the Lord and be obedient to him. And whatever it is that you face, you can overcome it through the Lord Jesus Christ. So, hey, you're loved. Praise the Lord for that. And I want to remind you, since you are loved, let the love of God shine through you. May the Lord bless you today. Let's go ahead and pray. Father, thank you that you do love us. Thank you that there isn't anything that would and that can separate us from your love. So Lord, help us to march on in that truth. Lord, help us to always remember that you love us. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. And don't forget, you are loved.